you better do it because you believe in it. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard on you, and you're going to quit halfway through. And once you quit halfway through, that, that's when they swoop in and, and take you out. You're fighting a fight that no, like not a lot of people would risk doing, right? Oh, man, this right. is crazy. Right. So it so, goes against everything that we were raised to believe. Yeah, it's, 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 right? it's a dark world. So money and power and control. And that's right. worth that's worth killing like everybody and making life miserable. Lucky Boys Podcast. So during this whole time, where are the good cops? Like, because I know that there's some cops that, and you said like there's eleven or twelve of them that that are currently fighting back right now, right? Including yourself. But you, but you, where you, are the rest? I can't. I gotta believe there's more than eleven or twelve good guys out there. there there's about maybe I say ninety percent of the cops are good. Right. Yeah, I mean, maybe, most of the cops maybe, maybe I meet. More than that. Yeah, most of the cops I meet, they're yeah. they're really good people, man. Yes, yes they're, they're really ma- good people. Majority of it, it's just that one percent that controls it, that 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 ruin it for everybody, right? And you have to understand, it's like 40, 40 something thousand cops all together, right? So you have like maybe like a hundred or or two hundred people out of forty thousand is. Are the ninety percent standing up to those ten, or no. I don't know the percentage. No. I don't. I think know, he's asking I'm what the using your what is the percentage that are fighting corruption directly? Right. So, and then NYPD works different. Um, it's very discreet. You don't see it, right? So you're saying a lot of them just don't know. A lot of them don't know. A lot of them know. But they have to know, like rumors. People talk, here, Steve. Here, yeah, right. Exactly. So a lot of people, um, like some some of the cops, they're like, "Oh, stay away from this guy. He's gonna get you in trouble. Stay away from this cop. He might get you in trouble." He's like, they know something is going on. They don't know. The they details. don't know. The details. They don't. Yeah, they don't bother to investigate it because they want to mind their own business. They don't want to get involved in it. But once they get involved in it, now they're gonna be called rat. They're gonna be uh, transferred out. They're gonna be um, retaliate against like they retaliate against me, right? And so when they do that to me, they they showing people the good cops. This is what happens when you fucking snitch. You're the example of right. a snitch like like you know, that to is, other cops. Exactly. This is what. But happens you're still a cop, which is crazy. Yeah, but this is what happens when you snitch. I don't want to be a cop no more, but I have no choice, bro. I got bills to pay. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like I can't. Ju- I, I I've been a cop for 15 years. 15, well, 15 and a half years now, right? All I have to do is what? Like, technically, I have to do four and a half years more and I can retire. So I'm going to dole away my 15 and a half years because of, you know, of this, whatever. Right. I, I want to retire. Yeah, of course. But I need something to. You need an income. Make, yeah, I need, I need bread and butter on the table. You know what I mean? Like, I need, I have a pregnant wife. You know what I mean? I live in a one bedroom apartment. You know, I have a 17 year old daughter. Mm-hmm. You know, so. God. I, I'm supporting my parents. They're retired. I'm supporting them yeah. too. So it's like, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta you got responsibilities. Right. I can't just retire. You know yeah. what I mean? And this right. is crazy. Right. So it so, goes against everything that we were raised to believe. Yeah. It's, it's, it's right. It's a dark world. You're Bro. fighting a fight that no, like not a lot of people would risk doing, right? Doing the right thing and fighting this fight. You realize that it's a very lonely path. Mm-hmm. Right. One, if you're going to do it, you better do it because you believe in it. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard on you and you're going to quit halfway through. And once you quit halfway through, that, that's when they swoop in and, and take you out. Mm. Right. So now, yeah, it, it's it's a great fight. Um, the reason why I put in the lawsuit is to protect myself now. Right. Because now is it in the courts and stuff like that. It's in the Supreme Court, not a city court. It's in the Supreme Court. Right. And it's a state court. Right. And so it's some kind of blanket of protection, right? So this case is in the Supreme court. Yeah. Um, so when, when, when this is, when, when this is there, right. Um, the NYPD started backing off a little bit. Right. And they started trying to like DL mess with me, like try to destroy my character little by little. Right. But every time they try, I'm like, no, I'm fighting that. I'm fighting that. So they see that I'm a fighter now. Right, and so they try to be discreet about it. You're so not they, the quiet Asian, right? That they thought exactly. You were. So they they changed my tour around. Like one day I'm working midnights, one day I'm working day tour. That's why it's so hard for us to schedule yeah. this this you know podcast, right? right. Mm-hmm. So as you, you can see, I showed you the email. I was assigned to midnight. The chief that was originally asking for me to be watched is retiring, right? And then so my lieutenant was like, you know, I'm tired of watching you. 
I'm about to retire too. I don't want no static. So yeah. here you go, you know, go back to midnights and be left alone. And then the other chief goes, nope, put him back on day tour. He needs to be watched. And he's like, that's why he said tour changed again. So what do they mean by you need to be watched? I don't know. I don't understand that. I don't know. No, 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 they I, they like, technically didn't say anything. But what it means, what it implies is wait, watch him. If he fucks up, get him. Wait for him to slip up. Any little slip up, get him. All right. Discredit your character. Right, exactly. So then Any you can build up thing. a case and be like, Are you oh, this worried game, that like someone might shoot you you know what i mean like what happened with frank serpico he got shot in the face right i, I really uh, like he felt like something was coming down the pipeline and then i, I, I think I, one of his own shot him is that correct yeah. yeah i i i i worry about it i think about it sometimes but you know i'm at a point in a uh, uh, point in my life where it's like i'm not scared to die you know what i mean i'm not scared of death it's wow whatever you know how did how did and, you and, even and if they kill me now they'll make me a martyr mm-hmm. you know so it will help the cause even more. The only thing that I'm worried about is my daughter and my wife and, you know, my future son and my family. You know what I mean? Like, um, are they going to be okay and stuff like that? So I decided, you know what, I'm going to take this matter into my own hands. I'm going to fight the good fight and I'm going to run for public office because everything is controlled yes. by politics. Mm-hmm. And so I decided to run for state assembly because... The state is a higher agency than the city. And you need a higher agency to oversee it. Because there's always corruption, right? But thing is, if the city is corrupt, and the state is corrupt, and the federal government is corrupt, you have to admit that there's some form of corruption in in these agencies, right? Mm -hmm. The federal is not going to care about the city or the state's corruption. They're going to go in and and enforce it on them because it makes them look like they're the good guys, right? But in the background, they're still doing the federal corruption, right? But thing is, this city corruption thing, it doesn't mess with their bread and butter, right? So, because they're doing bigger, they're doing corruption on a bigger scale, right? So their little city agency is not going to stop them from doing their thing. What's the motivation here? Is it all all just money? money? Money and power. Money and power and control. And that's right. worth that's worth killing like everybody and making life miserable. Yeah, that's money. That's why they say money is the root of all evil, or the greed of money is mm-hmm. the root of yeah. all evil, right? So now, if I create a state agency, they're saying, "Oh, okay, but who's going to watch the state agency?" Look, right now I'm worried about the city agency being watched, right? And for, for what's feasible within my circle of power right now is to run for a state assembly and create a a state agency, a watchdog, to watch over all city agencies. Because it's not just NYPD that's corrupt. It's the correction system. They're corrupt. You know, um, you got uh, the Department of Investigations, Inspector General, that is supposed to be, like, outside agency that watches all city agencies. Mm -hmm. That's corrupt because it's still a city agency. It's still under the mayor. So I found out that was corrupt when they tried to investigate the mayor and his wife. And the mayor fired that inspector general. Oh, yeah. Then a new inspector general came in. And then like a couple months later, they tried to open up the case. And that one got fired. Wow. Right. And third one now is in place. And there's no investigation now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. The third one learned the lesson. Then I, I reported my case to them. And they said, oh, yeah, uh, we can't look into this. Oh, nothing came out of it. They gave me a log number and all that stuff. They, they interviewed me. The lady was like ecstatic about it. Like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Blah, blah, blah. How dare they? Blah, blah. Right. But it didn't go anywhere because I asked them what's going on with the case. Like, oh yeah, we got shut down. Wow. Because so the mayor doesn't want to look bad. You feel like this is the best way to fight corruption. Yes. Is by running for office and getting elected into a position of power where you have influence. Yes. Where absolutely. you can, because you had your boots to the ground yes and you know and, and currently that's where you are and you know where the corruption lies and you want to you want to fight against all and it helps me get off of this job because <laughs> my, my my vision of nypd my idea of nypd just like yours now is crushed it's yeah no it, longer i i i that's a <laughs> you know like i never i didn't think it was like that, like right. at all. Like I am mind, but I still can't believe it. Like I'm really having a hard time 
digesting anything that you just said to me. Right. So that's why Frank Serpico is always so like aggressive towards um, um, cops, and that's why he believes in defunding the police and stuff like that because he knows. Oh, he wants to defund the police. Yeah, of course. He knows that this the structure needs to be broken down. He supports Black Lives Matter and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. He knows that the structure needs to be broken down in order for it to be fixed. 